Hey, Tom here from King's Auto Repair, and today I want to go over how we do an emissions inspection on vehicles that come into our shop. This is going to apply for any vehicle that is 1996 and newer, and you live in the Philadelphia region, the Pittsburgh region, or the South Central region. I'll explain more of that at the end of the video. Um, got a nice handy little chart we'll go over, but right now we're just going to dig into how we do it. So what we need from you is a valid owner's card, a valid owner's card, and we need your car. So those are two things we need, two things that we need to be able to do this inspection. Let's dig in and I'll go over exactly what we do. First thing we're going to do is verify that our license plate and VIN number match. Check our VIN number and usually generally pretty hard to read going to be a little difficult to read with this um, just because they got lots of security measures for camera stuff but we'll come in here to the door somewhere and we should be able to verify what our VIN number is and our VIN number begins with JTJAM and this ends with 5370982 and it matches what is on the door jam here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to come around and we are going to check the license plate. So our license plate there and our license plate here match. So we're essentially good to go on this. Car. Come over to our computer and we're going to select our vehicle emissions inspection and we're going to do an initial test. We're gonna scan our VIN down here. It's gonna ask us the same thing about the title number. We're gonna hit continue. And then it's gonna ask us if the license plate is right. And we're gonna hit yes. And we're gonna continue. So right now it is contacting the state. And what we're gonna do, and while it's contacting the state, we're going to go grab that gas cap and let's see we have a whole bunch of different caps here for all the different designs this is going to be a black cap back there so we're going to take our black cap back and then it's going to tell us we communicate it with the state we'll hit continue and we're going to continue and it's going to say there's no match because it's never been emissions tested before. Say 2023 Lexus GX 460, 4.6 liter, and we're going to say it's a match. It has an automatic transmission. It's going to ask us if it's gasoline powered. It would have to be, or we wouldn't be doing the test. Now here's going to ask us what county it's registered in. We're in Berks, so we're going to hit continue. And then we're going to enter the odometer. We are 14,009 miles. We're going to put that in over here. We're going to continue. And it's going to tell us to verify everything's correct. And then we're going to hit continue. Now it's going to ask us if we have a gas cap present. So we were back there. We know it is present. Then it's going to ask us if it's accessible, which means you can get to it. It's not hidden. It's not locked. It's not anything. You can actually physically open it and touch it. Then it's going to ask you if it can be removed. And that is the question that you're going to look for the locking gas cap. So if the gas cap is locked and can't be removed, we're going to hit no. And if we hit no, what that's going to do is make us continue on to the actual OBD test where we plug the computer in. But we can access this one, so we're going to hit yes. If it were locked, it would end up being a failure. Um, so then it asks us if we have a capless filler system. So that would be like on your Fords. So right there, we do not. We actually have a gas cap. And does it fit a standard adapter? Yes, it fits the black adapter. So now, if you install a new fuel cap right before getting this test done, that is an automatic failure. Someone asks you if you just put a new cap on. I'm not telling you what to say, but this would be your, this would be your answer right here. So 
We're going to continue. It's going to tell us to turn the key off, remove the cap. And now it's going to tell us that our tester is ready. So I'm going to grab our cap. We're going to grab our hose for our tester. And we're going to connect the two. We're going to take our hose. And we're going to run it from our machine all the way back here. So we're going to rest that there and we're going to go start our test. Once we got there, once we got our gas, gas cap connected, what we're going to do is we're going to hit continue and it's going to do a test, quick self test on here and a little pump's going to run and it's going to pressurize that gas cap. And it's going to see when the gas cap releases any kind of built up gas in there or any type of other issues that's going on. So it can't, basically it's venting when it's not supposed to be venting. Um, crazy part is a lot of these new cars uh, have much better testing on them than what this tester will actually pick up. So when you end up with the capless Fords, uh, they actually have better testing on those than this machine tests on the actual gas cap. We got the pass came up there. So we're gonna go take that off and then we're gonna go take the gas cap off and then we are going to hook up, hook up our other tester. We're going to continue on here. Uh, does it have more than one cap? No, it does not. We're going to hit continue. Now it's going to check the OBD device. So that's this guy right here. So this is going to go get hooked up to your car. It's going to ask us here, if we turn the key on and we don't start the engine, does the malfunction indicator light illuminate? To pass the test, um, it must illuminate. If it does not, it's a failure. Let's go check that. And then the next question it's going to ask is, does the car, when you start it, does the light go out? So let's get the gas cap on here. Close that up. So we come in here. And we turn this on. We're going to look for the check engine light. So we got him down there in the corner. He lights up. Awesome. So if we start the car, does it go out and stay out? It absolutely does. That's going to be our bulb check. It's going to tell us, hey, we're good to go there. So let's connect. Let's go and connect our scanner here. So we're going to take our scanner and we're going to locate the connector to talk to the engine computer, which is up under here. So we got that up under there. We're plugged in and make sure come over here and make sure all our lights are lit up. We're good. And the only one that's not lit up is the one that says it's talking. That's because the car's not on. So what we're going to do is we're going to start this car. Once it's started running, we're going to come over here. So yes, our light illuminated. We're going to hit continue. And no, it did not remain on or continuously blink. So we're going to hit continue. It's going to tell us to hook up that, connect, that box to the VLC connector, which we already did. Hit continue. It tells us that you gotta wait 15 seconds before it'll talk to it, but um, new modern cars, it's not a problem. Some of the older ones, you gotta turn them off, but new modern cars talk very quickly to this. So we're gonna start the engine, allow it to idle, and we're gonna hit continue. And as we go down through here, we're going to get a countdown. And basically what's happening right now is the state is accessing the onboard computer on the car to verify that all the onboard tests on the computer that the computer can perform have been completed. If they've been completed and they passed in the car, then it will they'll pull that data out and the car will pass. So right now it's telling us to turn this off. Come over here and turn it off. We're going to wait a couple of seconds. 
and we're going to disconnect this and wrap all this up. We turned it here and we're going to hit continue. All right, now being that it says we can enter an emission sticker number and year, that means this car passed. We're gonna go through after we put the number in, uh, the sticker number and when the sticker expires, it'll ask us how much we charged and then run our report. What I wanna show you right now is the different regions here. We got this nice little color coat, coated chart here. So we got our Pittsburgh region over here and um, some of the vehicles in this region and this region, the Philadelphia and the Pittsburgh region, if they are 8,500 pounds GVW like weight, which is basically some three quarter ton and one ton pickup trucks, they are still subject to a two speed idle test and a gas cap test. Uh, so this test will be a little bit different. This section in here, it'll pretty much be the same test I just did, except if it's 8,500 to um, 9,000 pounds, what will end up happening in this region, in the south southeast region, is that you will just get a visual inspection and a gas cap test. And if you are in this northern region, which is uh, Cambria, Blair Center, Lycoming, Luzerne, and Lackawanna counties, um, that is a gas cap check and a visual inspection. So that is a little bit different. Depending on what region you're in, this test may vary a little bit, but they have standardized the tests that there's no more dyno tests on 96 and newer vehicles that are under 8,500 GVW. They're just doing the test that I just did or a visual and a gas cap, depending on the car. Basically, that is the complete emissions test. Um, less me putting in a sticker number and printing out the report. If you got any questions, leave them below. I'll try to answer them and I will get you some access to the, the actual information from the state for this stuff and a number to call if you got some kind of problem. Um, they did change this year, the state did change the amount of money required to get a waiver on a car. It used to be $150, it's now 450. And what you're seeing in, and our end of stuff is the state has been really coming after people writing waivers and exemptions. So it's going to get a lot harder to get those waivers and um, exemptions on your cars. So just know that it's not the mechanic being a jerk. It's the state causing the mechanic to be a jerk because uh, if the state comes in, they can fine you, take your license, and take your driver's license. So uh, a lot of people don't like playing around with the state. So when they say something, they just kind of like, okay, that's it. And you just roll with it. They're not trying to be mean. They're not trying to be ugly. They're just following the They're just following what the law says. And um, so they don't lose their livelihood and their driver's license. Any questions, comments, leave them below and we'll see you in the next video.